Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to go fishing. And we're going to talk about this ammo shortage thing on the strips. So right now, I'm just uh, walk to my fishing spot. You might hear me uh, breathing pretty hard because uh, it's a long walk to get to the fishing spot which is under the bridge so this lake is called Joe Pool Lake it's uh, one of my favorite lake to fish I caught many fish here uh, mostly uh, largemouth bass uh, we do have uh, bluegills here and various uh, type of catfish so yeah let's do that and already it's uh i'm walking a pretty long way from my car and it seemed like it might rain today so hope hopefully it doesn't rain but if it does our uh, fishing spot have a bridge so we can go under the bridge and just chill out there for uh, when the rain when the rain dies out so uh, I'm okay with that I mean it's not the first time I go fishing and it's rained I hope you guys can hear me clearly I didn't bring my uh, like uh, wind protection for my GoPro so there's going to be a lot of uh, background noises because uh, we're walking on the shore now, shoreline of this uh, Jopo Lake and over that way there's uh, Lynn Creeks Park uh, I, I could uh, go in there but I caught more fish on the shore than uh, inside the lake inside the lake well uh, there are some hot spots in, in there that you can catch fish but uh, it's just not a, like a choke point for the fish to go through so uh, you have to be really lucky to catch, to catch a fish there so I choose to uh, go fishing on the shore instead because uh, the bridge is like a natural choke point so uh, that's where the fish are going back and forth and uh, there are quite a bit of uh, fish here on this lake and, and I also realize that the fish here is really hard to catch them in the daytime uh, especially in the summer because uh, it's uh, pretty hot here in Texas in the summer so the fish naturally they want to go deeper in the summer at least in the daytime uh, to, catch the f to catch a fish in the summer usually you have to go really early in the morning or late at night uh, this particular lake I found it to have a, to be really effective to catch fish around 8 to 10 p.m. or or maybe even later 8 to 11 p.m. on the shore I caught a lot of a uh, uh, largemouth bass here and uh, that that huge uh, that was uh, around the uh, fall and uh, winter timeline which uh, we're in right now so this is September 24th I believe so yeah, we're getting into the uh, fall season and uh, it's starting to get a little bit chilly but uh, not to the point where I need my jacket but I just packed the jacket just in case I'm not wearing it right now Oh, that's a, that's a long way Okay, why don't we start out right here also pack my energy drink 
Celsius energy drink. Uh, the flavor is peach, passion. It's uh, some sort of a limited edition flavor. Tastes pretty good, I like it. I think I might have to go to the store and get another 12 packs since I'm low on energy drink. Give me one second. Now, I don't, I don't use live bait most of, most of the time. Just uh, rubber bait and then just spray on some some stuff for the bass. This thing works great. Garlic uh, formula, bang. I caught many bass with this uh, can a formula. So, uh, it must have done something useful. Okay, let's put the uh, backpack back on. So, the, the type of rig I use for fishing most of the time is uh, drop shot. You got a worm. And then at the end, of course, you got your, uh, your sinker. It's a, I, I believe this is a one half ounce sinker uh, or three fourth or three eight. I don't, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I go fishing. I, yeah, so this is a, just a drop shot worm because once you put it in the water, uh, the worm is gonna go this way and it's gonna wiggle. So the fish uh, is more lively this way. And I'm using a, um, for drop shot, it's best to use a reel instead of a bait caster. Uh, I sometimes use bait caster too, but I like uh, using reel. It's much better for drop shot. And uh, this particular brand, I'm using a P. Fluger, uh, a president, love this model. This is like my uh, second P. Fluger. And uh, a couple of my brother-in-laws love this brand too. Let's do it. Hopefully we get something good. In the summer, I don't uh, often uh, caught any fish, any big fish, because uh, they all went deep. And to go deep, you need a, a boat or a kayak. So uh, let's go get on with this uh, ammo thing here. We have going on here in the United States. Well, it's not getting any better. Uh, yesterday, uh, Wednesday, I did went to uh, my local academy and uh, the um, point blank gunshot uh, gun store and uh, the situation is still the same. No ammo as usual. Couldn't find anything. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think I need any more ammo, but uh, like at this point, I mean, I, I can have some ammo and uh, just to flip it to uh, make some profit. I mean, uh, you can like uh, two times uh, your money back on uh, online sales. Uh, why not? You know, like uh, it's a good uh, business decision just just to uh, buy some ammo and then sell back to people who are willing to pay double or triple for them. I mean, it's it's a free country. It's not like a communist country where we have to ration everything, you know. Uh, if you snooze, you lose. First come, first serve. So uh, don't, don't be hating. I mean, I don't mind people like uh, buying uh, uh, tons and loads of ammo. And uh, there are people who like actually need the ammo. Uh, they they couldn't find any because you know they they're not willing to put the time in to uh, get the ammo. And uh, some of them uh, sort of uh, bitch about it. I mean, if you want something in life, 
especially in America, you have to uh, put some time on it. Just don't expect uh, anything to hand out for you. I mean, we're, we're not a socialist country. You want something, you have to go get it. There's no uh, reparation in this country. So, so yeah, everybody in this country have to work hard for their money. So it's just, whatever you're hearing on the news is just uh, some false narrative. I mean, they, they, they want us to uh, pitch against each other. I mean, I never seen anything like this in my life, living here in the United States for uh, uh, since 93. Uh, since the early 90s I mean uh, there, there's no like racial tension back then as far as I can tell because uh, yeah I'm uh, when, when we moved to California legally of course uh, in, uh, in the early 90s there's no like racial tension anywhere as far as I can tell I mean, uh, my school is pretty diverse. Mostly, they're, they're mostly like uh, uh, Latinos and uh, Asian, uh, s uh, specifically uh, Vietnamese. So the school that I went to is just like uh, a well diverse school. I mean, there's uh, blacks and white too, but uh, they are pretty rare. Uh, maybe until I go to uh, high school uh, where I see more uh, blacks and whites. But uh, you know our school is pretty diverse and there's no such uh, tension but uh, but but the higher grade you go I mean there's peak, uh, kids they just I don't know they're, they're like taking size you know so especially the kids that uh, don't grow up here in America uh, th those kids you know they, they don't go, grow up here they don't know the culture in America and you know uh, some of them uh, start uh, like a uh, racial tension and stuff like that. Uh, that's what I uh, I realized living here in this country for a while. So I am, you know, been uh, a U.S. citizen for the longest time. Uh, but you know, from uh, an uh, immigrant uh, child or uh, uh, perspective, oh, it's just so hard to say anything right now. <sighs> Uh, yeah, there's there's no racial tension. I mean, I live in California. There's none of those uh, because you know, like uh, people's not going around and just screaming uh, race this, race that. I mean, right now, I mean, you see a whole bunch of entitled uh, people just walking around screaming. I mean, they're, they're, they're just uh, crazy people. So this part right here, just. Uh, I don't feel any fish here, so we're gonna move on closer to the bridge. I mean, today I think it's a good time to go fishing because we have over over cloud and uh, and it's a better time than. Uh, daytime I like go fishing in the daytime but then uh, it's really hard to catch uh, fish in the daytime I mean yeah but uh, you know catching fish takes a lot of patience just like life you can't just uh, expect everything to go your way you have to work hard for it you have to be patient I mean the fishes don't magically jump on your lap when you don't do any work so yeah life is like a fishing trip sometimes you uh, it goes your way sometimes it doesn't most of the time it doesn't go your way so here we have uh, a couple of people here going fishing too and you are know, usually well this is uh, the uh, usual sh scene you have boats here people fishing on shore so no further ado let's see if we uh, get any fish in this area I mean I've been uh, fishing this uh, 
type of style drop shot for a while now as far as I uh, can remember because uh, I caught a lot of fish uh, using this uh, style of drop shot especially in uh, f uh, fishing uh, from the bank line and uh, for the longest time I do use a uh, bait caster I just use like a Texas rig uh, just wind bait and stuff like that it's fun but then you know the problem with bait catcher is sometimes you're going to get a bird nest and I just don't have time to uh, you know you get a really nasty bird nest and it's really difficult to get it out sometimes so yeah that's a downside to bait catcher but uh, bait catcher is fun it's really fun to uh, fish with but there are those days that you don't get a bird nest I don't care how good you are at fishing with a bait caster you're going to get a really nasty bird nest here and now and you know uh, fishing from the banks you can't you very limited in terms of how many fishing for you can uh, have with you I mean it's a long walk sometimes I took like three fishing pole with me just uh, put two stationary fishing pole just to uh, catch catfish and then use uh, one to catch bass have a few any fish today maybe I'm uh, a little bit too fast but uh, yeah, it's getting chilly and uh, the fish, maybe soon, they should be swarming the banks. But who knows? Just, I mean, just, just look at that scenery. How can you not like that? Uh, just, to be honest, sometimes I just go out here just to uh, relax fish and relax I mean I I don't care at all if I uh, catch any fish it's just that you know it's just a really relaxing uh, place to be uh, ex except for the car coming uh, yeah except for the car coming back and forth on the bridge it's kind of annoying it kind of ruined the mood sometimes but uh, but it's, it's still better than just staying inside the house all day long wishing uh, what could have uh, been so yeah sometimes I like to relax and just go out here and I don't see anybody catching any fish so far so uh, uh, should we move out from this spot I mean this uh, this is a pretty hot spot I caught a lot of fish on this spot but of course you know I have to spend hours and hours at most, at most, uh, sometimes I stand here for like uh, three, maybe four hours. If I have somebody go fishing with me, I'll uh, spend a little more time, but usually two to four hours. Okay, I don't see anybody fishing on the other side of the bridge, but uh, we're going to stay here for a, a while more, a little bit more. Hopefully we uh, caught something. So... Uh, the ammo situation thing well yeah it's not getting it's not getting any better uh if if it's getting any better then uh, you should be able to uh just in your afternoon walk into uh, any gun store and see like a couple of uh commonly used rounds on a store shelf but right now there's uh you can't find anything like that it's it's been over three months i mean it's getting really bad the last ammo run uh, is not doesn't take that long yeah, it's like a month a month and a half and uh, they're back on the shelf but uh, this time uh, it's, uh, it's pretty grim so I think I might go to the might I might hit Academy tomorrow it's Friday so 
this uh, this academy in Mansfield, Texas. Uh, they have a delivery truck on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I like to go on Monday because uh, I think the delivery truck has more ammo on Monday. On Friday, uh, look uh, looking kind of sparse, and you know there's not a lot of choices on Friday. But there's still some ammo on Friday if you go early. Like uh, usually, I just don't don't like to uh, you know stand out in in the line for too long. So uh, I'll I'll go early as as like eight eight fifty, like before the store open. But you know, like uh, there there are people there for like an hour early, an hour or more, and you know they they get to choose the good stuff. But uh, usually there's still ammo left. I mean. This, this, it's not gonna be like bulk pack. It's gonna be like a smaller pack, uh, 50 rounds, 20 rounds ammo, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, if you want like the really good stuff, you need to go early. If you want the 200 rounds box, 150 round box. Yeah, you gotta get in line. So that's the uh, ammo situation here in Texas. Although there there are some people out in the country, I mean they they don't experience uh, what we experience here in the cities and in the suburb. At least uh, in my area of Dallas Fort Worth. So uh, yeah, the closer you are to the city, I mean the worse it's gonna get. But you know, like typically, just have at least fifty rounds. No, 500 rounds for each caliber you own. I think that's uh, that should be plenty enough. I mean, you you're gonna have to do some training. Use at least uh, 200 rounds for training. Uh, 50 rounds each for each uh, range set session. And just try your best to get the smallest uh, group as possible. And you know, just just kind of test yourself. You have to uh, you know shoot like a thousand rounds every time. I mean. Uh, I mean, most of us were not like a um, really soldier boy or tactical dude or anything like that. I mean, we're just a uh, civilian and just uh, sometimes we just like to have fun on the range. Yeah, I know that. But, you know, it's not uh, necessary to have thousands and thousands of rounds. I mean, unless you want to make a, a few bucks out of it. I mean, it's, it's pretty good now. If you are able to sell, find some ammo. You can make a double or triple your price, and uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, so far, I haven't uh, sell any of my ammo yet. Uh, if I was able to find some more, yeah, I might be uh, inclined to uh, sell some because you know I, I don't think I'd, uh, I'm gonna want to shoot that much. Although I just uh, renew my range pass, so the range I go to is uh, Alpine Shooting Range in uh, Fort Worth. Uh, that's uh, one of my favorite outdoor range. Uh, the only thing I don't like about them is uh, the rules. You can only shoot one round every two seconds. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of ridiculous, you know. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, that's so. I like outdoor range more than indoor because they're more. Oh, I, I saw a, a bat just flew. But then, uh, yeah, it's pretty far away. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we able to catch them. So yeah, I saw a bat. I don't know if uh, this is gonna be on camera. Not too sure, but. Yeah, I think I should uh, slow down on uh, reeling my bait. I'm kind of fast here, but uh, yeah. You, usually drop shot, you have to be uh, really slow reeling in your bait, but yeah. It's not working out. Uh, I don't see anybody catching any fish so far.
Yeah, uh, catching fish is a game of patience, just like life. Same goes for your investment. I mean, you can't expect things to just blow up in one day or a month or even years. Sometimes you gotta wait a little bit longer. Especially for people in like to, uh, they're in like stocks and cryptocurrency. I mean, some people just, uh, you know, expect it to uh, blow up in a short time. Uh, that's not how uh, the market works. So if you can be patient, then uh, you're gonna, you're gonna reap the reward. But uh, if you're not patient, you can get uh, skin alive in the market. I mean, there's a, a lot of people like buy high and sell low. No, buy low and sell high. What am I talking about? Well, actually, actually they buy high and sell low. Yes. Yeah, my mind's kind of, my head's kind of shut. Try to focus on uh, catching the fish. So you don't want to be uh, buying high and selling low right now. Uh, the market is pretty overvalued. I am seeing like, uh, in my opinion, there might be another crash coming soon, but who knows. <sighs> Gotta get me some uh, energy drink. It's hard for me to uh, sleep lately. I think part of that is uh, because of the uh, energy drink. I mean, if I ever had them uh, at night, yeah, I think I think that's uh, this this energy drink is uh, kind of doing its thing. So uh, yeah, I think that's uh, one of the reason I shouldn't be drinking energy drink. A couple of hours before bed. I mean, like uh, in my uh, in my live stream, yeah, I drink it uh, all in my live stream. So yeah, at night it's just uh, keep you up at night. So it's doing its thing. Uh, not even one fish. I saw a fish, but yeah, seeing it and catching it is a. Uh, two different kind of things so usually if you see it uh, jump I mean that's a good sign right yeah but uh, catching it is uh, pretty difficult I hope you guys can hear me all right because uh, I didn't bring my uh, wind uh, windscreen for the GoPro so you might hear a lot of wind sound in the GoPro I try to talk as loud as I can but you know there's like uh, people around me I don't want to look too uh, weird talking to myself while fishing yeah cra crazy guy fishing screaming on top of a slung oh so yes uh, we should move on to the next spot which is not too far just over the bridge look at all the trash here people just uh, leave all the trash that's uh, kind of irresponsible I think they uh, should pick up after themselves I mean it's because of this kind of people that uh, the city just doesn't like people fishing so here's an, uh, another fishing spot that I like so anyway we are talking about what I forgot but yeah I remember catching a lot of uh, largemouth bass just uh, right here on this very spot sometime on the same spot that I throw my uh, bait there's like a whole bunch of bass there but I couldn't find any bass here 
for the last year. Maybe uh, just not the right time. Maybe I should uh, go fish during the colder temperature month, whatever that is. Maybe it's the late fall and the early winter. It's getting kind of cold. So that's uh, where the fish uh, come near the shore. But you know what? I do like going fishing in summer, but it's just too dang hot. So far, there's no nibble or anything. But we're not gonna give up. Like I said, usually I go to uh, I go fishing at least two hours, even if there's no fish. Oh, I did I did see some swore on the water. Could be a, a fish. Could be a small fish. Could be some bait. I don't know. Not sure. Yeah, that's like a whole bunch of trash here on the shore. I wish uh, people just uh, pick up after themselves, but you know, like I mean, how hard it is just to pick up after yourself, you know. And I do realize most of the uh, people fish here are like uh, Latinos, most of them. Yeah, they brought like a whole bunch of stuff with them and they just litter all over the place. I mean, these people, you know, like uh, some people like this, they, they, they do the same thing in, the, in their country and uh, they come over to our country and they start to do the same thing. They litter the, the whole place. They don't pick they don't pick up after themselves, right? but for the people who uh, live in the uh, U.S. for a long time, then they know what's up. You know, they they learn the culture. They're be they're a better person. But for the new immigrants, yes, uh, it's difficult for them to uh, accustom to uh, our culture here in the United States. So that, that's just my two cent. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of troll saying otherwise, but you know, it is, uh, that's that's how I see things here. That's how I, I mean, uh, I can say that I'm a pretty good observer. I see things and I hear things and I uh, listen to people. So I know what I'm talking about. It's just not, I mean, I've seen this country, I've seen this country change so much over the past decade and not it's not for the better, it's just getting worse. I mean the more people just, just let in into this country, the worse it gets. So yeah, we're, we're like far away from our topics right now, but yeah, sometimes I, like, I go like off topics. So let's go back to that ammo thing. Like, if you subscribe to my channel, you should know that I stream at least twice every week or more, depending on how I feel like. Most of the time I stream around 6 to 9 p.m. So that's, uh, that's my streaming time. I like to live stream more than just uh, upload video like this, but just for those uh, rare occasions where I'm not at my computer desk and I like to go places, which I do. A lot of time I like to go places. So yeah, I stream twice a week and uh, I cover anything from uh, gaming to uh, just uh, firearm stuff. So far, there's no bite, no nothing. Getting pretty uh, bad here. I'm seeing like, uh, what's that? It looks like a coin. 
or a, a bottle cap. I don't know, it looks like a coin. So nothing here. Nada. There's a whole bunch of uh, boats here today. So uh, I'm guessing the, the thinking the same. This might be a good day to catch fish. But then uh, haven't uh, feel any fish today so far. Usually a good day to catch fish is uh, a day where you at least have, have a cup of nibble within 20 minutes or so. But uh, today I didn't feel any nibble. I mean, it's been a while since I catch a big fish, but you know, got to be patient. Eventually, you'll be rewarded. Could be something big, could be something small. You don't know. That's uh, that's what fishing is. I mean, there's some people just don't like fishing at all because. They're not patient for it. I mean, yeah, that's... I'm very patient. That's why uh, I love fishing. So... I just wait for the right time. So far, it's still looking like it's gonna rain. Should I go back to the car? Or should I uh, stay fishing? Well, uh, I guess we're gonna continue fish until we run out of battery or something. Reconnect. Am I still filming? Hope so. Yes, I'm uh, still filming. So that's good. Yeah, there's like a, a couple airport around this area. I mean, Dallas uh, DFW airport is not far from here. So we, uh, yeah, we get a lot of uh, plane noise and there's uh, not too far from here. There's uh, a little, a mini military base. So there's a lot of uh, plane traffic too. Absolutely nothing. Wow. So, I used to have a kayak, and it's fun. It's uh, it's very fun. Uh, go uh, rolling the kayak, but uh, I I like the you know. The rolling kayak part but I don't like the setup part where I have to uh, pretty much uh, by myself put the entire kayak onto the car and uh, you know just get ready for it it's just uh, yeah just too much I wanted to have a trailer for my kayak but then that costs uh, a lot of money I mean just to have a trailer, you have to pay uh, your uh, your extortion fees, your uh, trailer sticker fees from the government. I mean, I, I just don't like to pay sticker fees and all stuff. I mean, they call it a they call it a service, but I call it a I call it a tech, uh, taxation theft. I, I don't need a service, you know, like why do can my trailer work without the the plate? I think it will. You can prove me wrong, but uh you you're not gonna be right. Can your car drive without uh st a state sticker? Well I yes, it will it will drive. 
So it's just another taxation theft. Another thing I don't like. That's why you know people are getting poorer and poorer because uh, they keep on voting for stupid stuff like that and to make it mandatory anytime you vote to make something mandatory they're gonna cost you in form of uh, taxation your children is gonna pay for it you can't pay for it your children gonna pay for it and their children I mean it's it's easier to pass a law than to retract a law so just remember that stop voting for things you don't need stop voting for mandatory everything then you know you you start paying lower taxes so in Texas uh, you only have to pay federal income tax but if you live in California or New York you have to pay double the tax federal and state so that's a downfall of uh, living in a liberal state I mean that's what you vote for that's what you're gonna get you know you vote for double taxes you vote for the same politician and that's what you're gonna get you reap your reward which is uh, more tax good thing I moved out of uh, California our family moved out of California a while ago and so far at first yeah it's, it's pretty dreaded you know moving away from my friend and stuff like that uh, on my last year of high school uh, yeah just very depressed during that time very very depressed uh, especially you know the last year of high school where you could have uh, graduated with your friends and you know things like that but it is what it is I still remember them and it's uh, it's been a long time but so far I do not regret moving away from California it's a cesspool of uh, liberal and taxation uh, I just saw another news they're gonna ban all gas power car and now they're gonna uh, force you force force you to buy an electric car in uh, 2035 I believe so for those of you who drive a gas car right now you're gonna pay insane amount of money to get a new electric vehicle so uh, yeah you, you live in a liberal state with a bunch of uh, uh, liberal hippies uh, that's what you're gonna get you know it's gonna be a whole bunch of tax a whole bunch of laws to uh, tax you even more and this new uh, green deal thing that uh, liberal California is propo proposing and passing it's just uh, yeah it's gonna put a strain on uh, people who are struggling to live there so yeah you're screwed I mean get out of California and uh, stop voting for the same type of politician when you move to another state because uh, you're gonna get the same result you move but uh, if you do the same thing you're gonna get the same result so that spot is it's horrible today there's no nibble usually if there's uh, no nibbles and it's not worth standing there let's go back to this spot Yeah, I like to go back and forth. Maybe it's not the right time of day. Uh, it's like 12 o'clock right now. Yeah, 12.30. It's 12.30 right now. So we're here at around 12. Not too bad. Not the perfect time to go fishing, but it is what it is I like go fishing at a random time don't matter if I catch any fish or not but it's fun to relax uh, just thinking about the whole world what's going on in this world right now some people just forget to uh, live their life 
They're just sitting in the corner and fear for their life. That's why on my channel, you know, I just don't talk about doomsday, uh, anything like that. For the entire channel, I do play games, so just uh, kind of relax. A video game do relaxes you for those of you who uh, have a hatred for video games. I mean, it's very relaxing. Just uh, find a game that you like and, you know, you just get hooked on hours upon hour. So instead of just sitting there, uh, dreaded of uh, what's going on in the world today. I know like a lot of uh, people are like out of uh, work right now, lose a job because of a stupid uh, overblown virus that the uh, mainstream media is spreading. That's why I don't uh, watch mainstream media news anymore. They just, uh, they, they could care less about you, to be honest. I mean, they're a multi-billion dollar corporate. You think they're gonna be honest with you on everything? I mean, the whole point of uh, the corporate media is that uh, they want to sell you based on fear. They want to sell you stuff based on propaganda. I mean, that's that's how they make their money. Do you think the corporate media make their money on honesty? Like, do you really think that's true? So yeah, stop watching mainstream media. Even for for the gaming stuff, you know, like I see a lot of uh, just uh, uh, baiting articles, uh, baiting reviews to get people to click on the the article to get the people click on the video it's just uh you know just like clickbait i mean they they don't care about you you think they care about uh, uh blm most of this uh, mainstream media company no uh they, they're just doing it for the clicks and they're just doing it uh, so they can sell you more suicide pills and uh, even for the gaming company i mean they're starting to do that too but uh, you know like I'm just tired of them I mean I play a lot of uh, video games but uh, this company they start to uh, do this kind of shit it just kind of pushed me not to buy the game I, I really want to just to enjoy life and just play a little bit of a game sometimes and just it's just hard to do to do that when the company that uh, you're supporting do that kind of shit it's time to tell uh, everyone that the, the, the white white sauce uh, white privilege uh, people who don't think the same way they are they start to diss their own fan base I mean this company is the most I don't know, there's no word to describe how bad they are. And a lot of, a lot of game I play is, uh, yeah, this uh, Virtue Signal Company, Activision, Blizzard, uh, you name it, you know. Like, it's really hard to enjoy the game right now. I'm starting to play War of Warcraft, but you know, I, uh, sometimes I just, uh, just thinking about uh, this uh, Virtue Signal Company, I just don't want to play it. So uh, yeah, for World of Warcraft, I think I'm gonna play my two months, and after that, I'm just gonna let it sit. Unless you know, like, uh, unless I really enjoy the game. So far, so far, you know, my my sister, she do play. World of Warcraft with her friend, so uh, I might join them once in a while, but for that type of game, uh, massive multiplayer online, you need to uh, be in like some sort of guild or group to uh, enjoy that type of game, otherwise, you know, life gonna suck if you don't have anybody to play with. So far, there's no nibble or anything. Should we, should we be staying out here for any for longer?
Yeah, it's uh, really windy right out here. Hope you can hear me well. I tried to scream into this GoPro, but the wind might beat me to it. So I'm turning my back on the wind. But I don't know if that's gonna work or not. So I'm still using the GoPro 7 Black. I just bought it like a couple of months ago. I used it before, but uh, I just don't have a reason to uh, hold on to it. I sold that GoPro and then not not to uh shortly i just rebuy the gopro i mean it's it's like the best uh, action cam out there there's there's no substitute for it aside from a sony action cam which i also own i own the uh, older model of the sony action cam and i like that model i uh, i think the newer model is better but uh you know like uh it's, it's pretty expensive this uh, action camera and uh, GoPro just released a GoPro 9. That's, that's like back to back, you know, like last year we have a GoPro 8 and this year we have a GoPro 9. That's, because I think GoPro 8 is a major failure because, you know, like people need to rebuy, rebuy the accessory for the GoPro 8. So uh, it didn't go very well within the GoPro community and the uh, GoPro 9 uh, yeah, I haven't uh, looked up the review for it but yeah I don't think I'll be buying it anytime soon like the GoPro 7 the quality like you're seeing now is not too bad you know it's not like it's uh, in the year 2000 or something there's no reason to upgrade, upgrade to uh, GoPro 9 uh, I probably have to rebuy a, a bunch of accessories for it, which sucked to begin with. I mean, I have a lot of accessories for GoPro, like some like this right now. It's a it's a shoulder mount for the GoPro. A great mount. I can put it on my backpack. So once in a while, I go to uh, mountain biking, and I put it on my backpack and just. Uh, just go mountain biking you know I should do that I should do that before it gets really cold I should do that before we uh, hit the end of the fall season which is around uh, October November it's around November yeah Black Friday this one as it's getting really cold so yeah, I should uh, make a few uh, trips out to my uh, local mountain bike trail. Uh, I love mountain biking. It's so much fun. Although uh, a little bit of a uh, dangerous, but uh, it's, it's fun. It's uh, fun to uh, ride on the dirt path off the pavement. I I also do like uh, road biking too, but uh, I don't enjoy as much as uh, mountain biking. So this this spot is that's there's absolutely nothing here. There's no nibbles or anything. It's a horrible spot today. Let's see if uh, this cat. Let's do a couple of casts and see what's going on. A couple of casts near the bridge. Sometime I do uh, catch some uh, fish here. As a uh, largemouth bass, there's uh, several type of uh, catfish. Uh, I love the uh, blue catfish here. Uh, it can get very big, but then you know, like it's uh, it's hard to catch uh, a big catfish here. Usually I, I caught a little one, medium to little one. And uh, the meat on the catfish, wow, it's excellent, very sweet, that's what I love about catfish. But uh, today, you know, this uh, the setup is used to catch bass. The 
was absolutely nothing. I didn't feel anything today. There's no nibble, no fish. I did uh, see one fish jump earlier. Not sure if, uh, if the camera caught it, but uh, if, you, if you look closely, you're gonna see a fish jump. Wow, there's like absolutely nothing here. Let's go back. Yeah, let's not forget my uh, Yeti cup. The wind is starting to pick up, so I think I have to scream a little bit louder. So there's absolutely no fish on that spot today. Didn't feel anything. So we're gonna walk along the bank and uh, make some stop here and then do a couple of casts well there's a couple of spots on this bank where there's a lot of rocks on the bottom that's where the fish hide but then if you uh, throw your bait there you might lose it so be aware of that. There are spots where there's rocks. And I lost um, quite a few bait to it. I believe there's like a fish calendar for fishermen. Uh, they'll tell you, you know which day is good for fishing and stuff like that and uh, what hour. But you know like cool. But uh, whatever, you know, if I feel like going fishing, I go fishing. It doesn't stop me. It doesn't stop me if uh, the uh, forecast said uh, you're not going to catch any fish today. It doesn't stop me. I just uh, go out and uh, enjoy myself a little. Uh, breathe in some fresh air because the uh, I don't like staying indoor for an uh, extended period of time I mean right now some of you guys are still in lockdown and uh, it sucks for you you live in a city in a state where there's lockdown I mean you can't do anything so I mean, uh, you vote for it, you vote for the lockdown, and you're gonna get it. And now you dread it every day, not able to do anything productive. So yeah, just, as for me, living in Texas, we, at first, we do have a lockdown for like, I don't know, a soft lockdown, per se, for like a week, and then, the governor changed his mind and then we uh, the lockdown ended but then we we still have a stupid uh, mask mandate so every business required to put some uh, some sort of sign on the door that said uh, you, you're required to wear a mask no mask no service like whatever I mean if I forgot my mask at home, then I'm not gonna give you my business. So if you wanna kill your own business by putting those kind of signs, it, it's the mask sign, it's nothing more than uh, a gun-free zone sign. It's like, you know, like uh, we don't uh, want criminal here. So, I mean, okay, whatever. We just lost our worm. We just lost a worm. 
So let's uh, change that out. Spray on some uh, secret sauce. Well, it's not uh, very—it's not sec secret since it's uh, widely available, but uh, it helps. So the bass can smell it. Okay, the wave is picking up. It's making a uh, really loud noises. Absolutely nothing today. Oh, almost forgot my Yeti cup. I love this thing. I mean, it keeps your your drink pretty cool or pretty hot. Uh, whichever you, uh, whichever you like. Okay, let's get uh, far from the previous spot and we're gonna stop and do the same thing. Okay. I like to fish along the banks. But at first, you're allowed to fish near the docks but I guess you know a lot of people just uh, take that for granted and uh, they uh, they throw a whole bunch of trash in that area then uh, the city starts to uh, hate it the uh, private uh, docks owner starts to hate it and uh, yeah and they stop people from fishing near the docks that's uh, that's one of my favorite spots a lot of my uh, big fish that I caught is uh, near the docks I mean I, I caught a fish almost every time I go there big fish but you know ever since they put up that uh, no fishing sign uh, yeah can't fish unless of course if I use my kayak, I just uh, roll my kayak near the dock and uh, I fish there. There's like a whole bunch of fish there now uh, since they uh, stop people from fishing near the dock. Right now there's like a whole bunch of fish. But then again, I don't have my kayak anymore. I sold it to uh, some guy for pretty much a half off. He got a pretty good deal. I I got a Bass Pro kayak. It's a sit inside kayak. It's not a sit on top. So I, I feel much uh, more secure sitting inside kayak instead of a sit on top. But you know, like uh, uh, sit sit inside kayak, you don't have a lot of uh, maneuver versus a sit on top. It's just easier to maneuver, uh, especially if you go fishing. So if you like to go fishing on a kayak, buy a sit on top kayak instead of a sit inside. Yeah, the kayak's pretty heavy. I mean, like I have like a whole bunch of gear on it. I mount a whole bunch of gear. 
I cuss them out of the kayak. I do all that stuff. I do all my knots and stuff on a kayak. Yeah. Kinda miss uh kinda miss a kayak to be honest. I mean it was uh it was a fun time. I had fun with my in-laws. They, they uh they both have a kayak too and yeah we have fun. We we caught a lot of big fish on it too. It was fun. On this lake, uh where's my bait though? Hopefully uh I didn't see my bait landed. Hopefully we didn't lose a bait again. We caught a lot of fish on this lake. Uh, kayaking near that area right there near the docks. Near the rocky area. The fish uh, love the rocky area. Uh, again, you know, if you fish in a rocky area, you're going to end up losing a lot of bait and uh, hooks and sinker. Stuff like that. It happens. Even on kayak, uh, yeah, we, we did lose a bait. We did lose a bait again. I knew it. Because I didn't see the bait hitting the water. Oh well. Let's move on. Usually I uh, stay here for a longer time, but the GoPro only uh, lasted for like, I don't know, maybe at most uh, an hour, at most. I don't feel like changing, changing the battery. Changing the battery and uh, stitching all the uh, video clip together so yeah let's uh, put in another bait hopefully we didn't lose it this time let's see uh, what else do I brought with me so that red worm is not working out I think we should uh, try this brown worm. Yes, try this. Okay. Uh, let's spray on some hot sauce for the fish. Well, it's not really hot sauce, but they seem to love it. I mean, I don't think the fish uh, like pepper. This, uh, this sauce is uh, some some kind of garlic sauce. That's what the bass love. Love garlic. And once in a while, with this drop shot, I do, I do uh, caught some uh, catfish with it. It's, yeah, it's weird. So. This kind of rig I use is uh, to catch bass, but then sometimes I do uh, catch some uh, catfish. Yep. Yeah. I just stole the bait and uh, a bunch of uh, sauce just spray on my face. 
what do you call that spray it's not sauce but you know like uh yeah a bunch of stuff just spray on my face So far, we didn't get anything. I like use worm because uh, the worm is uh, pretty universal uh, used to uh, catch uh, fish because the fish know what a worm is. I mean, they they'll eat it. <laughs> 